Exactly like the photo they gave us. Guess we gotta get these back to Caesar, huh? I heard the people. Did you see that girl? Stop! The planet is...
wisdom of the planet is boundless. In All the time I've spent here, it's so great learning about the planet. <laughs> we are this variety. of the planet of you will need to serve it. And make sure not to miss any.
Is there another entrance? Oh, oh, oh. Ah, forgive me. You'll need a key. It slipped my mind. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be at home. Well, there's no need to make such a fuss. I simply wish to see this with my own eyes. Doesn't look good. Ten? No. Four hundred? The meter's going crazy. What's a GZ anyway? How do you even read this? GZ stands for Geisel, his first name. Bugenhagen was the first person to discover that the life stream emits energy we can measure. <laughs> But that's not worth mentioning. More importantly, our work remains unfinished. We'd best get on with it while we still have the light.
anarchy? Is it just me, or does that sound like a weapon? Ah, yes. If that were the case, then maybe... Right, yes. We have not a moment to lose. We must continue our work. This is the site to which I would have you attend next. Good luck to you all, and safe travels.
on you. wondering, do you believe in fate? That something out there controls our future? Oh, ho, ho. Fate is a salve we use to soothe the sting of disappointment. We are the masters of our lives, Nanaki. Would you not agree, Cloud? Yeah, sure. an unprecedented level of activity. Countless proof that the flow of the life stream has shifted in some manner or another. The question is, was this shift natural, or was it the product of an external force? A question for another time. One location remains. see any monsters this time. Hmm. It appears that this site has gone fallow. Meter, if you would. Oh, my word. We'll handle these guys. Get back. Go on. 
Don't overdo it's it. On you. I'll take care of them. Whatever. Every little bit helps. Tagging Keep out. Keep it together. All set. Uh, uh, set uh, all right? uh, uh, Watch yourself. So it's my turn. Go. No more games. It's over. You've got this. It's on you. I got this. Uh, I'm using it. Too old for this. <sighs> My point exactly. I learned far more than I anticipated today. Though I harbored doubts, I now concede that you were right. Something is happening to the planet. Many questions remain, but I can share with you some answers. are founts of Marco, whose locations are dictated by the life stream's ever-changing flow. Yet in all my years, never have I seen a once thriving spring wither in so short a time. While still just a theory, given all I have witnessed, I believe the planet is changing on an unprecedented scale. Ah, the weapons. I first learned of them from amusing fables and Cetran tomes. Quite frankly, I did not believe they existed. I thought them merely allegorical. Thus did I dismiss the tales of your encounters with these incredible creatures. No, that's not it. In truth, I was terrified. Weapons are born into existence when the planet is in crisis when the survival of all creation is at stake. I hope you will forgive me my discourteousness. You came to me in good faith, and I turned you away. But we must face our fears. Only then can we hope to overcome them. And so I face mine. The weapons have come, and they portend a grim future for us all. A malevolent energy descended upon that life spring. Never in all my years of planetological research have I ever seen such a disturbing phenomenon. You, however, appeared unfazed by what you witnessed. Yeah. <laughs> you needn't explain, Nanaki. Indeed, it may be best that you do not. The experiences of others may skew our own perception of the truth. For the time being, quiet observation is key to unraveling this mystery. In the grand scheme of both the planet and the life stream, the lives of us mortals and the sublunary parts we play are undeniably inconsequential. For our world is the accumulation of trillions of souls, an assemblage of all life that ever was and will ever be. But that is far too reductive a way to view the cycle which sustains us. We are, after all, a part of the planet. And the planet is a part of us, too. We mustn't forget 
that even the smallest of ripples can gather the strength to become the greatest of waves. It is thus incumbent upon us to do all we can in the time we are allotted. Do not die a ripple. I endeavor to do just that. I will continue to work to uncover the planet's secrets. And if I find anything, I will let you know. All right, just try not to overdo it. For me? <laughs> oh! Now who could this be? Why, it's from a watchman in town. How odd. Oh, what did you say? Is something wrong? I fear there is. The survey team has returned with reports of sightings of key spirits within the Vale. But they were sealed within the cave. Indeed they were. I can attest to that. So how did they get out? Well, these are spirits, Nanaki. Who knows what they can or cannot do? Though I know this is sudden, will you lend us your aid? <laughs> Go and speak to the watchman at the gate. I will return to the Vale on my own. stars have indeed revealed themselves to us. Mm -hmm. All three of your photographs are precisely what I required. Yes, these will make a marvelous reference for posterity. Hmm. As always, our planet is as strong as she is beautiful. No matter the calamity, we have no reason whatsoever to fear for her demise. Interesting. It appears that there are more comets than were previously observed. Perhaps this is a sign that our planet has, in fact, grown more robust. Yes, surely it is. And if we take note of their positioning and connect each with lines, just so. I see it. The pattern. An unprecedented configuration. Hey, what did you wish for? 
Hmm? Well, only what anyone else would. I just ask the stars to protect us from harm. Right. Of course. That face you made earlier, what was that about? Don't know what you mean. Guess the shooting stars have said their piece. We just got word from the survey team that they spotted the Gi right outside of town. Yeah, I heard. Are they okay? They weren't attacked, were they? Don't worry. Everybody's fine. Happened to be near the elevator, so they were able to escape in time. Though they had to leave their truck behind, unfortunately. Okay, I'll go take a look. We can't let more into the veil. Appreciate it. Just, uh, be careful out there. I'm... Yeah! <laughs> 
down. We follow him. Keep it 
together. I got it. Seto, I'm his son, Nanaki. There's a lot of things I don't know yet, but I want to learn. Can you teach me about my father? A about you? Your father? I see. As you wish, son of Seto. What would you like to know? Seto ventured deep into the caverns below your home that day. Alone, that he might persuade us to cease our ingress. Though we had braced ourselves for battle, we found ourselves captivated by his resplendent mane. He was a beautiful creature, in both body and soul. So swayed were we by his courage and sincerity, that we chose to entrust with him our singular desire. We desire the return of our black materia, and deliverance from this purgatory. We believed Seto to be a man of his word, yet his betrayal proved otherwise. Our hopes placed in him, only to be trampled upon. We were forsaken, overcome with rage. One by one, our arrows found their mark. Yet Seto was unfazed by our assault. As a confidant, our secrets he would keep. As a penitent, our vengeance he would accept. Yet Seto would not forsake his duty to keep us from the veil. He was resolute, his will adamantine. And with every arrow that struck, his body hardened to match his resolve before our very eyes, unmoving in the face of our relentless onslaught. T'was not long until we lost heart, conceding the futility of our plight, and sank back into the dark depths whence we came. Yet the darkness granted us no comfort, and certainly not the oblivion for which we so desperately yearn. I... 
I know this might sound hard to believe, but I want to finish what my father started. I want to fulfill his promise to you. Is that so? And even if you don't trust me, Gina Talk does. He asked me to get back your materia. Like I told him, I'll do everything I can to make sure you can rest in peace. All I ask is that you wait in your cave until I return. And if we comply, you will keep your word. It might take some time, but I'll do it. Very well. At long last, and thus, the promise has been made. See that it is not broken, son of Seto. You sure about this? They're gonna hold you to it. And I hope they do. Dad understood the Gi's suffering, but he also understood others would suffer if the Gi ever got the materia back. He was willing to bear that pain for them, even if it turned him to stone if it meant that he could spare others from their wrath. We just have to find that black materia, and we have to make sure that no one gets their hands on it, not the Gi or anyone else. But I do want to keep my promise. I'm gonna find a way to release them from their suffering. There's gotta be an answer out there somewhere, and I'm not gonna stop searching until I find it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Spoken like a true watcher. You heard all that? Our hopes and our dreams give us strength. Remember that. Hold tight to yours, and see that you never let them go. In time, they shall lead you to the answer you seek. Long has it been since I've spent this much time out and about. I'd best head home and rest these bones. <laughs> I suppose the survey team can now resume their expedition. Long has it been since I've spent this much time. Out. I'd best head home and rest these bones. <laughs> <laughs> 